intent. I normally don't go with a swag, I normally go with a tent, which is more lightweight. Uh, but this is pretty light. I just weighed it, 5.9 kilograms, and that equates to about 13 pounds. Um, I'm gonna put it up real tight, and I'm gonna try and sleep in it tonight in my yard. So let's see how we go, shall we? These things are generally very resilient to weather, to tears. I imagine this is probably the mattress. But um, hopefully this is pretty self-explanatory. Not looking at the instructions at all. Not looking at the instructions. That might be my undoing, to be fair. Two hoops by the looks, pretty simple. One will probably be a little bit bigger than the other. That one I imagine is for the front, and that is probably for the back. Well, without further ado, let's connect it up, shall we? to say as far as tents go it doesn't get much simpler Ta -da. all done except for putting the mattress in Right, that should be watertight now. That's what we're gonna find out. So I can now tell you that the head of the bed is completely dry. Let's check the other end. And the foot of the swag is also completely dry. Well, as you can see, there's not a lot of room in here, but there doesn't really have to be. As long as I'm warm and I'm dry um, and it ventilates well, I'm going to be more than happy in here. Would you believe, despite all the camping I've done in my life, I've never yet slept in a swag. So this is going to be the first time. So it's past 8.30 now, and the swag's been out here since I put it up, and we've had a few showers of rain. Uh, it's handled it pretty well, and I'm actually hoping that we get a really big storm tonight, because there's no better place than your front yard uh, to test a new tent, and in this case, a new swag. And it kind of reminds me, um, this kind of camping, of a channel I'm watching at the moment, this guy who just goes around and camps anywhere, urban camping. Um, and he sets up in the most strange of places. It's, it's actually quite funny. You wouldn't know he was there. Sometimes he goes in the middle of a roundabout and normally takes a couple of drinks once he's set up just to enjoy the evening. And you can't really fit a bottle of wine in your backpack. Well, you can, but you know, you always got a chance of having a bit of a, an issue with it. So you can get smaller ones. And this is some Pinot Noir Chardonnay from Jacob's Creek, which is a local winery actually in the Barossa. So I've got a few of these tonight, and um, I'm just enjoying them. 
And at the moment, as I say, it's actually clear skies. Whether that lasts or not, I'm not sure. So, I'm sure the uh, purists out there will say this is some sort of crime, not putting it in a proper glass, but um, cheers. And that's not terrible. As you can see, I am now in the swag and I'm about ready to go to sleep and give it a proper test. But before I did, I thought I'd just give myself five minutes with it open, looking up at the stars. Uh, for those people who don't know, I'm a bit of an amateur astronomer and um, this takes me back to my youth. When I used to live in the Middle East and I had this teacher who got me into astronomy and it was camping and we used to camp out in the open it was fantastic and the um there's more bitey things here in australia so generally we 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 you know stay in tents and things like that but just to have a few minutes of looking up at the stars when the clouds are actually out the way it's actually pretty cool so i'll see you all tomorrow morning and we'll see how the uh, swag fed. Just one final thing I wanted to share before I go to sleep. Do you hear that? It's rain. And um, yeah, it's nice and dry in here, so it's working pretty good. <laughs> anyway, see you tomorrow morning. How did we go last night? Great test for it because it rained, it was cold, it was all the things I wanted it to be. Um, great against the rain, no problems there at all. 10 out of 10 in that department. In terms of warmth, for the most part I was warm enough. I was certainly no warmer or colder than in a tent. Um, so that was quite comfortable. The mattress is great and provides adequate insulation from the ground. The biggest issue that I can see, and this may be more limited to this time of the year, is condensation. So, condensation is an issue this time of the year, particularly the canvas tents, which are generally one layer. And you get around that because you just set up away from the walls in a bigger tent. You can't really do that in a swag, because it's, it, particularly this one, because it's the smallest swag pretty much I could get, it's just too close to you. And I had a really big, big sleeping bag on, so... Fine on the inside, I was nice and warm on the inside, but the outside was going to take a little bit to dry out. Which, if you want to move on fast, is something you don't really want to do. You want to pack up and move. Uh, can I get around that? I reckon I could put it in a bivy bag, or bivouac bag, which is something I want to try anyway for real minimalist camping. You can also put these underneath shelters or awnings, a lot of people do that. And I have to say that most of the year, this is gonna be fine. It's just those months of the year, the condensation is a bigger problem. Also, the ventilation, because it was so cold, naturally I had that more shut than I would in the summer. Um, that's just trying to get that balance right between you know dealing with the cold and dealing with the condensation. But I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I reckon we can get it to an 8 out of 10. But overall, uh, a reasonable night's sleep.